just crucial to feed this uh, players in terms of damage. Sure. You can see now that instead of going for the Selena, Myanmar just opts to go for the Louis, which is their comfort pick. Um, there's a little bit of problem with having the Selena in the early in the game before. And while it's true that the Selena was popping off, we can see a lot of stuns landed by the arrow and even the damage up was there. The bigger problem that they had was wave clear. Myanmar didn't have an existing wave clear in their then, side. This time, they will have the Louis. So that's what you get from the support. Imagine for Philippines, they had Q. That even if Q dies a lot, the fact that he's just a support, a utility for the team, and doing the wave clear for the Philippines, that really helped a lot when it comes to first gun. And in, in fact, Myanmar just straight up banded out because they know how how Philippines are using this. In, that prompts Philippines to go for the Selena pick. And they're gonna show it how it's show Myanmar how it's done. Yeah, and you mentioned earlier actually for your team Philippines or specifically for Brand Esports, this is the kind of hero that is a kryptonite for them. For th so for them using this, so it's kind of a gamble for them if it, they're not uh, prepared for the Selena pick. I'm not really sure if it's gonna work out knowing that this is a team Myanmar they're facing. But then again for Myanmar, it's going to be the Luo Yi, which was uh, the hero oh, no. that made the headlines or made it through the headlines okay. for uh, the majority You're of the early stages okay. of her group. Group stage. Mm -hmm. So, a few more. Um, it's going to be the combo of the Saluji and Atlas. But it comes to the point uh, wherein we have to compare this um, hyper carries. We have the Lancelot versus this Bruno. For the late game, yes, it's uh, totally going to be um, the Bruno's edge. But for right. the late game, it will be a problem for him because the Lancelot could really dive in on the back ends. All right, so this time they will go for the Jawhead. Now x -Borg for Philippines. By the way, I just want to say that um, we are discovering new heroes for Flap TZ. But back before, we were just going for the standard uh, other heroes like the like the Thams and, uh, and the Uranus. I like that he showed us the Esmeralda before. It was great. I think that we need to put uh, if you're side of the Philippines, if you're from Philippines, if you're supporting Philippines, you'll be happier to see Flap TZ in heroes that allows him to make the plays, not only just to farm and farm and farm. And I also like the fact that Few is playing as a support now. As the captain of the team, you kind of want to be playing on the quarterback role that you're just sitting behind and just commanding your teammates, right? It's always hard to, uh, to play as a captain when you are an offlaner. If you are support, though, that's uh, that's easier for you. The vantage point is better mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, yeah. You control it, right? So that's I a good perspective, actually. Yeah. yeah. So so far now, I'm in. It makes a lot of sense because uh, Selena is a signature pick for a few in the Philippines. However, <laughs> Yellow Flash with the Bruno, we uh, I've seen this before. I, I'm I'm actually so happy to see Yellow Flash once again because. Uh, when I see him play like Ling, like carry, you have a lot of your cooldown for your mobility skills, your dashes are low. But when it comes to the Bruno, you only have one, right? In a team fight, you have only one tackle at a certain point. So hopefully, this will. Uh, do you, uh, when I watched uh, Bruno played by Yellow Flash before, I was so amazed. And hopefully, we get to be amazed once again. Yeah, although uh, Wolf for uh, this year in a speak. I'm uh, feeling for your uh, Philippines. It will be difficult for them to burst this up, this one out. Uh, they need uh, the abyssal arrow plus uh, finishing uh, play here for uh, Carl TC. So it is going to be a battle of the side lanes here now for the both teams. We've mentioned that earlier, having a yellow flash on this uh, Bruno pick. Actually, um, well, we saw him. Um, we saw the other players or Royal Milk standing out or standing strong with this Bruno pick together with yellow flash. So I guess. For Philippines, they should focus more on negating uh, the side lanes, or else uh, that will be a problem for them. But again, Flap TZ on this some um, Thomas. I guess for Flap TZ, what's good uh, with having this kind of lineup or uh, this kind of hero for him is that uh, they're just good for the offensive play. But then again, a DK almost low life, he's still alive against the Philippines.
the bigger part of having the Selena is you always have that very speedy tick of the jungle. And in fact, with all of the waves that they have cleared, Philippines are looking to invade the orange buff. Lusty with a jump. No, still, that is a steal, I mean, from Philippines. As the Flap TZ Ooh. and Crow TZ and few are here, Lusty gonna be chased down. Damage from Louis Yi is not gonna cut it. The arrow misses coming out from few, but it's already mission accomplished for Philippines. And now, the the masters of exp chantel team philippines they're economically their gold lead is just 200 but when it comes to the exp it's already at a thousand more than a thousand uh, exp lead which if you look at their levels now that tz is gonna get level four that's uh level four as well for how tz lastly almost four and the rest of the gang almost at four while team and they still have players who, at le who are at level two that's actually yeah really bad for Myanmar at this point yeah actually if you have a team uh, if you have a team uh, that is on the edge in terms of experience uh, you're just saying to the enemy team that they're ready for the team fight know that philippines is really for the aoe together with with this uh, damage that uh, could be uh, brought by uh, cartesi on this uh, lancelot for Myanmar, though we could see actually uh that they have a slow facing in terms of uh, their minion waves they're just preparing yellow flash for the latter part of the game but yeah, royal milk is done he has killed here by Team Philippines actually so that is a bit of a problem for him and more for Philippines though we have you for the Selena he's just ready to give the information for the team and this time around they will try to actually get this buff of Myanmar because we have Royal Milk getting ready for that occasion buff has been secured here or has, has been stolen by Philippines and you know you will wonder how Philippines is Still leading by so much when it comes to XP, but not when it comes to gold, because they sacrifice the fact that their presence in the map is not that good. But the fact that they are taking away so much from Myanmar makes it so that it is still a very good trade. Like the gold is not that different, but when it comes to the XP, they're leading by a lot. They have all of their ultimates available. They will try to fight DK. There's the fatal links on to two. Real mid, maximum charge. Now in forward. That's gonna be Atlas down first. Count he's in trouble. Gonna be chased down. But with the help of his teammates, he's not gonna be able to survive them again. Captain Sam gonna be caught. There's the exchange kill. Yellow Flash finds the opening. Look at that and gets the purple buff as well. No, he wasn't able to do so because Rebo was there just in time to get it. Yeah, but then again for uh, Team Myanmar, the credit is just there for Yellow Flash. Okay, we can actually see him secure a kill for Team Myanmar. FU is also down with a missile from Royal Milk. I guess for Philippines, they should be mindful in terms of team fight. But then again, Lusty goes in for the dive. It's going to be a double kill here for this Jawhead. He will low on life. And Schecter plays a triple kill for Royal Milk. So. Uh, for Philippines, yes, they are the upper hand earlier, but for Myanmar, in terms of D5, they're just there. We can see Flap TZ and Car TZ turning the tables around the damage, the fatal legs for DK hit, and then he goes for the out. But then Flap TZ says him double kill for this at times, and Car TZ low on life, but he's gonna back away. He was able to escape that series of events. Again, Myanmar, we're now tied at 6 6. 6-6 six, six at this point, Myanmar have recovered. So this is such a big recovery from their side. And I did say that this is going to be an amazing Bruno play. I think Yellow Flash, Flash his attention to detail is just so good. His attention to the game is just so uh, excellent at this point that even... I want to say that even when he is uh, not that far compared to the, the opposing course, he's still able to find the good angles. And he knows exactly how much range he's had with this Bruno. And you can see him even attacking through the walls, knowing how much range he has against his opponents. And he's able to land those crucial shots. He's now up at 1-0-2 with uh, 2.7, 2.8k. A little bit near the Lancelot, but Carl is just so well farmed at this point. Yeah, but uh, you, you've uh, mentioned Yellow Flash. Uh, that is uh, really commendable how he, he places himself in the map. Sure, a team fight is uh, difficult for um, Myanmar. I mean, for Philippines to actually counter him because he's just on 
uh, maybe I guess the boundary of his range and then uh, the, their heroes for uh, Philippines here. But then again, for Team Myanmar, all they need to do is actually take down a single turret against Philippines right there and there. Philippines uh, will be on a complex situation. They have the Selena, which is known for the aggressiveness. But they, if they lose a single turret, actually, it will be difficult here for Philippines on this game. We have Flaptizi on the aggressiveness, but we have Yellow Flash on the kind of range and damage that he is breaking for Team Myanmar. Here comes another turtle, Lusty, on that uh, initiation. Actually, DK is done, guys. The damage is just there because of the wave of the world. Sam, Sam, Sam dives in. Low players or low life players here for Philippines. They're just gonna back away. Royal Milk with that flicker. Flaptizi low on life, though. They're still alive. Lusty comes in for the dive in just to counter out, uh, just to stop Royal Milk, and that's the end of the team fight. What a good way for Myanmar to zone out the players of Team Philippines. Carl TZ is actually gonna steal that turtle. I'm not really sure though if that was a good trade if he is killed by Myanmar. It is not a good trade at all. You wanna, uh, as a Lancelot, you always wanna be there in uh, uh, cities. You always wanna be up and alive almost all the time. You want to minimize your deaths because your deaths by uh, having 30 seconds means that you're losing about a thousand or so gold, right? Because you always want to farm and farm and farm. That's the thing with Lancelot. You always have to pose that threat against your opponents. And that trade-off for Cartesi is so crippling. I think, you know what? The deaths on Lancelot or Ling or those kinds of heroes, you can even say they count as two deaths, right? If there's two deaths on Cartesi, you always think, oh, he's already... Uh, he has already died four times. That's how you treat and put value on deaths on valuable heroes like this. Because Lancelot, he needs to be up almost all the time. Uh, and if you compare that to the Bruno, the Bruno can die so much, but if he's farming, it's okay. There's a, there's a, I have to say this, there's a ceiling, ceiling for the Lancelot that if you don't farm so much in the late game, you're not gonna matter that much. Yeah, you're not gonna matter uh, totally if the uh, majority of your team Myanmar already has the immortality. You just go here for the damage, but there is no finisher actually for Team Philippines. So this early game is uh, really crucial for them. Although we can see him with that uh, blade of heptasis, they just need to actually get the turrets against Team Myanmar. For Myanmar, though, what's good about this team is actually they have the Johe that could single target this um, last that we've uh, we've seen that earlier. Cartesi was isolated by that uh, Johe. Gonna get on the bottom lane. We have Lab TC together with you. They're gonna kill with a mega kill actually for this. Um, Lab so it's gonna be a battle. DK comes in for the team fight. Lusty is there for the backup though. It's gonna be two versus two. The battle of the side lanes. Lab TC low on life. We have Samson Sam taking down this Thames of Philippines. Oh wow, that was a very surprising kill actually going out from uh, well, I mean. Surprising turn of events for Myanmar for me because they kind of slipped up and Philippines knowing that they have That they already saw their opponents like making a mistake They just punished them heavily and now the lead is on the side of Philippines a little bit The turtle is more than important for Carl TC to have at this point Because aside from the bonus damage you have you also have that shield For the turtle for about two minutes, which means that he's a little bit tankier now when that's the team fight that's gonna happen. So for Team Myanmar, I think that they have to minimize those errors if they want to transition into the late game with good farm on Yellow Flash, on Royal Make, as well as Sham Sham Sham. They need to minimize their mistakes, but another mistake happened in there as the Joyed is gonna be caught by Philippines red-handed. Yeah, that is, uh, I guess, a miscommunication for Team Myanmar. They wanted this Chauhead to give information, actually show where the players of uh, Team Philippines are. But then again, he was actually killed by Team Philippines. Here we can see on our screens, we have a 6.9k gold, almost 7k for Cartesi on his Lancelot. That is an edge for him, though. Um, and uh, what's good about Team Philippines is uh, they're actually taking down turns, or actually damaging the turrets of a team in Mar, which isolates this Bruno to get all the gold that he needs if uh, they're really transitioning for the late game. We have, uh, we, we can see here players of Team Philippines actually zoning out this box inside while the Thames is just a take objective. We have Flap TZ, known to be the basher player of Team Philippines, taking down a second turret against Myanmar. 
onto the top. That's like you said, flap easy. This is how he plays when when he's playing the thumbs against Edom. He's split pushing so much, but when he plays something like a uh, like the Esmeralda before he fights for the team. But this is equally good for Lord, Philippines as they are already. Uh, but part here around the first tier turret of Myanmar. Wanna go against Yellow Flash? Lusty charging the jump. Will he commit it? Yes, he can. But he does reach Yellow Flash in time for the damage from Lancelot. It's gonna be enough for Philippines. Double kill coming up from the Thames as he bites Yellow Flash in the neck with his molten sights. Philippines have taken three. Might be just taking taken him uh, a tier one turret in the bottom lane or transfer to the Lord, where that's a better yeah. exchange for them. Royal Milk is gonna be taken out for sure. Let's kill and spree for Flap Teasy. This guy with the thumbs already up by so oh, much. Oh, really good. Yeah. Bravado for T3 Beast actually taking down Yellow Flash. We've been talking about Yellow Flash earlier that it's uh, difficult for Philippines to dive in for him or actually take them. But again, he kills them. I mean, he kills him. Uh, they kill him and they take down this Lord. Objective other, uh, after another objective uh, for uh, T3 Philippines after this game, we have 34 take. 34k gold against the 30k gold of the team Myanmar. For the uh, Philippines, what's good about this team is they know which lane they should go uh, for them to be able to focus on the other lanes of uh, team Myanmar. For Myanmar, they should uh, be mindful or actually they need Hiccup to activate his uh, prowess in terms of damage or even uh, the crowd control against Philippines. So far, we haven't seen those uh, outstanding plays coming from the Louie, but then again, uh, he is done with that unstoppable force coming in from Royal Milk. Although the Lord is on the top lane side, we see the aggressiveness of TPPs here on the bottom lane. They're just going for the turrets. They're just taking out turrets against Team Myanmar. This is Philippines uh, doing what they're doing in the previous game. They're controlling the map. They're not letting Myanmar farm. The Yellow Flash is... Um, he had a good time, but it's not as good as what the, the Lazarus is having at this point. Still have to be careful though if you're Philippines. This is still a Bruno that bites so much. If you get caught up, you're gonna be taken out. Then again, Philippines, they have so much engaged potential. Like for example, they can start with Lusty. Even if Lusty dies, it's okay. If he starts and catches Yellow Flash, prompts the Purify first. There's a follow-up stun from uh, from Pew on the Selena. And then you also have the x -Borg. You'll have many ways to sacrifice yourself and put the bodies in front of mm -hmm. Myanmar. So that Karteezy as well as Flapteezy will be able to, uh, to kill them in the end, to finish off the kill. So if there's going to be an, uh, a high ground battle now, or sorry, it's not a high ground. It's a, it's a base defense from Myanmar. Mm -hmm. I think Philippines can still win it, but they will have to sacrifice some deaths. If I'm wrong, they will take this cleanly. But if I'm right, I think I'm going to see Philippines drop some bo bodies, but it's okay because they'll still eliminate Myanmar if they execute properly. Yeah, speaking of which, I guess for uh, Team Philippines to take down actually uh, the crucial heroes or uh, the most important players of Team Myanmar, they need uh, Lusty or the Skufra to dive in just uh, to be the sacrificial lamb in terms of team fight. For uh, Myanmar though, they have the Atlas that actually does uh, the counter initiation. I'm just feeling that uh, Royal Milk should be mindful of his uh, positioning in terms of the map because we could see him actually being taken down by Team Philippines on uh, and a very crucial part of the game. So we don't want to see that if the Team Myanmar wants uh, to turn uh, the tables around against Team Philippines because the more he dies, the more that is going to be uh, difficult for them to counter out this Lancelot because he is the only counter for uh, this uh, Lancelot to be taken down for Myanmar. And so... It's, it's not impossible for Myanmar to win this. I'm telling you that. But I'm not saying mm -hmm. that it... Okay, so for the Philippines, it's going to be this immortality for the Lancelot.
whichever he, that if he goes in for the dive it's gonna be a good thing for them but then again here comes the last insanity for Rebo. he kills yellow flash so there is no damage for team Philippi, uh, for team Tenmar on this game hiccup with that vacuum the damage is just there but then again for Myanmar the DPS is just lacking hiccup is down as well we have 1070 for the score all the players of Philippines still alive for this game number two Rebo pops the immortality some Sam Sam is just there defending their base or inhibitor turrets but the Lord is now up onto this game we have DK for the immortality though Lusty comes in for the dive DK for the counter initiation that they're not gonna go he doesn't have the much um the uh, damagers here from Myanmar. While this is happening, though, we could see that Sam's actually taking down or taking this Lord against Myanmar. Sam, 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 being the Uranus that is known to be the hero uh, that is known for the sustain. And uh, two tanky players, all the players of Myanmar now alive onto this game. It's going to be 10 17 for the score. Carl TZ, low on life, but he is able to escape that one. Flap TZ on the Sea Halberd. We have Royal Milk taking down few, but then again, we have the Lord onto the side of Team Philippines. That is already an edge for them. I guess if this uh, Lord marches down, in the middle lane, that is the time where you is alive for Team Philippines. Royal Milk and a disposition onto the series of events. He is done against Team Philippines. We have Lusty getting ready for the initiation. Although the Lancelot is far, far away with the sword onto the side of Team Philippines. Lusty on the sidelines getting ready for the initiation, guys. We're just waiting for the damagers. But Team Myanmar having this Bruno for this lineup. But they will successfully take this Lord down against Team Philippines. We have 10k gold. Uh, I guess for uh, this Bruno, it's going to be uh, this some um, immortality to complete his item. So it will be difficult for the Lancelot to burst in down in terms of key fight. 18-11 is the score, guys. We have 13k. We have the Queen Swings here for um, the Lancelot. We saw him earlier building that immortality. Um, it's a matter of time for um, Menmar to turn things around but here comes the diving guys Carl TZ is almost low on life then again it's gonna be three versus four a missile arrow catches this Luo Yi Lusty is almost down he pops that immortality but we have Flap TZ stepping up on that team fight while Rebo goes in for that last insanity Sam 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 is still alive this team Philippines, they're just aggressive. They're taking this inhibitor turrets against C Myanmar. DK and Sam 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 again defending their base while Team Philippines is complete for the series of events. They might or they can win this game. They just need to be focused on the objectives. Pick our objectives, they will take down um a DK, which is the Atlas we have. 10 minutes, I mean, uh, 10 seconds before the Royal Milk and Hiccup goes alive to the Fender base. We have Carl TC going in for the turret push. It's going to be a GG push for Team Philippines. It's going to be 2-0 for the series against